Cooper is down and out. John Howard. John Doomsday Howard. Whoa. With a huge knockout victory. Oh, I don't remember. Ray Cooper landed a big shot. Oh, wow. John Howard with a big left hook. Oh, my goodness. Yo, that was. Oh, oh. that was not. Oh. Ray Cooper. Oh. Oh. He's out. He's out. He's oh, he's out. John Howard. Whoa! F holy! Yo. <laughs> holy! I'm not looking to knock y'all out. I'm breaking stuff. Cooper doesn't know where he's at yet. Big hooks! Two big left hooks by Woo. Howard. I'm breaking ribs, I'm breaking jaws, I'm breaking shoulders. Even you block my shot, I'm breaking an arm. You block my kick, I'm breaking a leg. I am breaking everything I throw. I'm looking to break your limbs. I dare you to block me. I dare you, I dare you, you try to take me down get in front of me, I'm gonna hit you. Why I love Boston and why I stay, stay here, it's not because I'm from here. One, gotta be a little cocky about Boston, you know, I'm from Boston, City of Champions, you know, all our teams win all the time, most of the time, you know. <laughs> be able to like see other athletes and see your city rise to the occasion, especially when Nine out of ten times, we're always the underdog in situations. We always rise to this occasion. So that that inspiring motivation helps me, you know, in my fighting career. You know, and I'm really proud of that to be part of Boston. You know, but people know how, how much I love being here, and um, it's just awesome. And my dream right now, my my goal, is to bring another championship back to Boston. So not only we have you know four world titles between football, basketball, hockey, and um, baseball, now we have MMA. I like to be that first. Boston MMA fight to bring a major title bout like PFL to Boston. So that's my goal. Boston strong, always. <laughs> my first fight was at 19. Seven years later, I was in the UFC fighting out of Boston at 26 years old. Fighting kind of fell in my lap to a point where it was like the universe telling me it was meant to be. I was supposed to be doing this and I took it as it fell in my life and I just went forward for it. And now look, look at this. I'm, I'm in the playoffs in PFL, possibly about to make a million dollars. Honestly, I have to thank the UFC for the experience. UFC has its ups and downs, but also put a great stamp on my career. Fighting on the UFC Boston card after Boston bombing was like a, a dream come true, and this is what I mean. Fighting in Boston in front of my Boston people after we experienced that tragedy and we're so close to home and everything, and maybe that representation, and winning to be that hero, so to, so to say, that is the best fight of my life, fighting in Boston, UI Hall, uh, at the TD Garden. And I never forget that the whole night, I, I didn't even sleep. I literally walked up Boston all night. I didn't even sleep for two days because it was such a great feeling to be uh, my natural athlete, to be a fighter and to do it in Boston. When I got diagnosed, I was um, on the spectrum of the, um, autism. I was actually real proud of myself because I just know I'm on the spectrum, but I'm proud of my accomplishments. I did it at an amazing level which I didn't think I could do it. And then I did it not even knowing that I was on the um, spectrum. My goal is to be the world champion and be that example to all those kids. I know how those kids are feeling. I know exactly where you go. The guys, I went through the exact same thing with schooling and bullying and all that, all the teasing and everything. I know how it feels, but look look at me, look what I did. Right now I'm PFL about to fight for a million dollars. This autism kid on the spectrum from Boston, Dorchester, doing it. With PFL, stuff happens, stuff gets switched up, you gotta be ready, you gotta be a, a point, but that's what true fighting is. Fighting twice in one night, and that ain't easy. I don't care when the rules, so that, that's still not easy. You can't overwhelm it. You gotta kinda let it happen. You gotta go with the flow of it because it's two fights. Last year, fighting Eddie Gordon on the um, tournament. Eddie hits hard. That dude is big and strong. When I remember just getting hit by him. It's like, when he hit me, I was like, oh, you hit hard. I, I got a decision over him. It was a great fight. That's why I come in into this I'm real confident because you can deny power. His power is insane. If I can survive his power, I feel I can survive a lot of these welterweight power. My second fight with Lewis Taylor. Well, he threw a knee. I think he was aiming for my chest, but it clearly hit my face. I looked the ref like, look, that hurt. I can't see right now, and it was a legal blow. I was arguing. I was hurt. I, I thought I lost my chance of a lifetime, um, a million dollars. And I, I thought I was robbed at, at that point. Due to an unintentional blow to the head, Howard cannot continue. But you know what? I was professional. I gave him a hug, said good luck. I said, I looked him in the face. I don't agree with the decision on law. I'm not gonna piggyback on this, not even a little bit. I respectfully want my rematch and prove a point. But right now, I got business to handle, and what happened in the past, I'm gonna use it as fuel to make sure I stay on point to do what I need to do in the tournament. I see my gunner command up. He choked my ass out. So, <laughs> I mean, that's the only guy that beat me in the division. So, I do want that rematch. I know I can do it this time. I'm back.
the one thing I remember most of Ray Cooper is the warning. Y'all see the picture when I put my hands up like this. I said, you about that life? Oh, you want to fight like Hawks. He's a beast. He hits hard. I do break spaces like, like me. But when he got hit back, he got touched. He didn't realize, oh, stop. I'm not the only Hawk. Left hook. Stings Ray Cooper right in the neck, puts him down. When it dropped him, I was like, oh, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, you've never been hit by someone like you before. Cooper doesn't know where he's at yet. I want to say thank you, because you reminded me that I am John Doomsday Howard. You're the guy who pushed Doomsday up. And you know what that means? We might get to see that one again. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> having David Schaub having as a first one tonight, all right, definitely don't overlook him. You know, he has a first round finish TKO, just like me. I want to see what happens when I hit him. I, I don't think he's durable. Then Sai hits hard, yeah, but I hit harder, I believe. You know, and we're going to find out. I'm a crazy dude. I know I'm nuts because I'm playing two guys in one night and I'm happy. Vegas is a fight city. I'm so glad I have that experience because I want to see how these PFL guys handle that. I'm glad that we're on the same stage, but being there is something else. That big stage, it's a whole different feeling, baby. Being on camera, being on TV is one thing, but when you got 20,000 people either chanting your name or booing your name or even looking at you or even acknowledge you, that's a lot of pressure. Okay? On top of ESPN, which has millions and millions of its views, so that, that's a lot of pressure. But to see it and hear it live, woo, get ready, because it's going to blow your mind. I promise you that.